Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, and today, I'm going to be reviewing Sonic Forces. So yeah, let's begin. Now, Sonic Forces was a game that was shown off in 2016, and then released on November 7th. Now, in my opinion, I think this game is just decent. It's not amazing, it's not good, it ain't like the best Sonic game in years, it's just decent. Like, so yeah, I'm going to begin with the story and the characters. So yeah, let's begin with the story. Now, the story has an interesting concept, but how it's, like, shown and how it's handled is just terrible. So, the concept is Eggman takes over 99% of the world, and Sonic, like, apparently in the story is dead, but, like, guess what? He isn't dead. Like, the characters say this in, like, it's an interesting concept, like, having Sonic get captured by Eggman, and, like, his friends would have to, re like, rebel against Eggman, but guess what? His friends do absolutely nothing in this game. And that's the thing, like, you're bringing back, like, all these characters that haven't really done much in, since, I don't know, 2006 or, like, 2010. Not really. I mean, they were in Colors DS, but they just stand around and really didn't do anything. But, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna be honest, the characters just don't do anything here. Like, they just huddle around a room and hope for Sonic, like, they can't even fight for themselves, which, don't these characters have powers or something? And they do, but they don't do anything in the story half of the time. There was one scene where Silver fights Infinite, but, like, no one else tried fighting against Infinite. It was only Silver. And the cutscene is just, like, kind of horrible. Like, I'm just gonna be honest, like, it's just, like, you know, Sonic makes an unfunny joke. And speaking of the writing in this game... It's a mess, like, you're, it's like, how am I supposed to take this game seriously, when there's, like, jokes like, you know, like, hey, Infinite, are you having, like, Infinite, how, what's the source of your power, do you take long walks on the beach, like, how am I supposed to take this game seriously when there's jokes like that thrown in there, like, I can't take a game, like, like, that's fine if you have humor, but, like, like, if you're gonna try to do a serious story, actually make the humor fit in some way, because guess what, it doesn't work here. It says unfunny jokes half of the time. And, like, it, that's it. Also, could we just discuss, like, like what they, they... Silver says that, like, um in the story, Tails goes insane. Which, in one cutscene, he looks like he's fine. And that's... I think that's basically all I gotta say about the story. It's a mess. And the characters... I'm not gonna really focus on, like, all of them, because they just don't really do much. I'm just going to focus on Sonic, classic Sonic, and Tails, I guess, and Infinite. And, well, let's just begin. I think uh, Sonic's kind of grown on me in this game. Like I said, he's annoying, and guess what? He still is annoying. But he kind of grew on me in this game. He actually kind of takes the situation seriously. And I'd love to see more of this Sonic. Like, it's fine for him to joke around sometimes, but, like, remember, this character isn't us. Balney McNose hair jokes, because... That's not been Sonic's character at all, you know? He's never made, uh, always been Baldy McNose here. But, yeah. I actually, his character is good here. Classic Sonic. His purpose in this whole game is very stupid. Like, what's his purpose? I know this is sort of like a follow-up to Sonic Mania, which Mania is a better game. But, um, like, he, what's his purpose in this game? He sort of does here, you know, like... As Tails says he's from another dimension, which also doesn't make sense. The Avatar, he doesn't even speak. You can hear him, like, make grunting sounds, but he doesn't even speak or speak any lines. He just, like, makes grunting sounds, and he's with Sonic sometimes. And, yeah. As for that, and there's also, like, oh, also, let's not forget Infinite. He's probably one of the worst Sonic villains. You want to know why he acts like he is in the game? Because in the free DLC, Shadow kicked his butt, and he says and he says he's not weak, which like that's not a good motivation for a villain. Your villain shouldn't be like I'm not weak, like like that's the thing. Does Sega not know how to write a villain? Because apparently in the free DLC, Shadow takes out his clan. Why not have Infinite get mad about that and like go after the characters, or go after Shadow instead of having a rampage? With Eggman, which is stupid. And the characters don't even, like... Eggman just sits in Green Hill Zone in this game half of the time. But yeah, that's my rant on the whole story and other stuff. As for gameplay... We're gonna start off with Sonic's gameplay. 
I actually like his gameplay. And he actually controls pretty good. And yeah, that's basically it. He controls good. And that's basically it. Classic Sonic. He He's for some... Classic Sonic in this... Classic Sonic feels heavy in this game. Like, when he tries to jump, it feels like he's more heavier. Which, I don't know, doesn't work. Like, it just... I don't know, it's a mess. And then you have the Rookie, which feels... He's just like Sonic, but he has additional things to him. Like, the Wispins, which... Let's talk about the Wispins. I barely seen my... I barely used any of them. I used, like... I think, like... Void a few times or something. Which, like, that's how I gotta say. Characters don't really... They play fine. As for the level design... This game sometimes reuses level design, which isn't good. Like, why... Like, like we're just going into random locations, like, we've already been to, but, like... There's this level where you play as, like, the Avatar, and then... In the city, but then you return as Sonic, and it's the same level. That screams laziness. Like... I'm sorry to say that, but, like, it screams laziness. And then there's, like, classic Sonic's levels, which are fine. They're, they're okay. Still, like, design-wise, they're, they're fine. And same for rookies. They're just sort of the same thing, which, like I said, reusing level design isn't really good. When it's just, like, you know, boost to win. Like, I'm sorry to say this, but, like, Boosting isn't fun in half of the time. Boosting in the level sometimes, I'll be honest, is just, like, hard. Because I don't usually see myself falling off the stage. Which is just, like, yeah, it's just why. And also, I have to say, like, the levels... I had to say we had fun with the levels, but guess what? They're too short. Like, the levels take, like, a minute. Like, I remember this one level that took, like, one minute to complete, which I actually had fun boosting through. But it takes, like, a minute to complete. Which is, like, really dumb. Like, why are these levels so short? You might say, well, didn't Sonic Colors have some short levels? Yeah, but, like, there were some long levels there. Even in Generations, if you just didn't know what you're doing, Green Hill Zone might take you nine minutes to complete. Which I would say has is more of an interesting design. And this game just has missed, missed, missed ideas. Like, like, in the first level, there's this giant worm... But you don't get to fight him. Like, this game has missed potential in some areas, which... It's, it's sad. Like, this game was made in 2014, and they were spending most of the time making the game engine. Which I gotta say... Wow. So you were just working on a game engine when you were making... Instead of that, like... You could have just used Generations game, like, a engine, and it would have been fine. Which is just like... Like, it would have been fine. But as for this, um... I don't hate, like, this game has its issues, it's not, like I said, it's not the best Sonic game, but I still had fun. If I had to give it a rating, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. So yeah, I don't know what you guys think, let me know if you just don't like this game or do like it. But yeah, that's the end of the video, see ya.